is a demo of a project I've been working on. It does testing, linting, and it can also do file watching. It displays the results in a browser and it orders the results in uh, layers of dependency so that at any point in time you're only looking at one thing that you need to fix. So let's do a quick demo. So we're now running the server. So we're going to go to localhost. And right now there's nothing to report. Now I've got this set up. Let's delete the project. We end up with a new project as soon as we delete it. So this will be our demo project. So we want the fix me demo. And you have to put in the package name there. So we'll lint that. Foo, fix me demo foo and bar, fix me demo bar. Now if we come look at the output, there's nothing to see right now because we're all good. So let's go in here and muck some stuff up. So if we mess this up, then we'll see that we get a linting error. And if we go fix it, it says all good. Now I mentioned that that handles dependencies. So if we come in and muck up this one, we'll see a linting error. But if we go back and muck this up, we only see one linting error, and it's from the lower level dependency. Now when we go in and fix this, then we'll go back to seeing the get answer linting error. Now on the other hand, if we go in here and muck up the linting, and then come into bar and actually break the build, we get the build error because build errors are more important than linting errors. We can also change this and say, you know what, we don't actually care about linting on fix me. And now we're back to having nothing to report. Another nice feature is that if we have external dependencies, they're not going to be actively watched. But if we break them and then come trigger a build, it'll now put a temporary watch on this file. So if I come in and fix the dependency, bring this over here and hit save, it knows as soon as I fix that. And it'll clear the temporary watch. 